With patch 1.5, Massive introduced named gear pieces. Each of those has a unique talent and in certain situations they can be quite powerful. Surprisingly sunny for a windy day guys, let's talk Division. Alright guys, this is going to be a quick video to show you where you can find all the named gear pieces in the game. Most of those have multiple drop locations and I want to extend huge props to Massive for not making any of the pieces survival locked. Well, they did make one survival lock but technically that's a weapon, not a gear item. Oh well. Anyway, this means that even if you don't have the DLC, you can still obtain most of these items. Now shout out for Reddit user CMM324 for compiling this information. You can check out his website over at divisionfieldguide.com. Let's start with Colonel Bliss's holster. Obviously this drops from the Colonel himself in the general assembly mission on challenging mode. Now currently however there is a bug as the mission itself can be run on challenging mode but Massive are working on effects. This can also drop from field proficiency caches and survival caches. Now Ferro's oxygen mask drops from Joe Ferro in the Nepal prediction site on hard difficulty. This can be also obtained from field proficiency and survival caches. Next we have Barrett's bulletproof vest drops from Larray Barrett in the Lexington event center mission. Again you guessed it on challenging difficulty and once again this can also be obtained from field proficiency and survival caches. Now Hutch's short bow championship pads drop in the Madison Field Hospital mission on hard difficulty and again from caches. The Ninja Bike Messenger Bag can drop from any named boss in the dark zone and again from either a survival cache or a field proficiency cache. Skull MC Gloves can drop from basically any named roaming bosses or HVT target. Also it drops from caches. There's also 4 new named weapons. The Tommy Gun drops exclusively from dark zone supply drops and the Thompson M1928 drops from underground caches. Now specifically the Thompson could also drop from other places but the data is inconsistent and this isn't confirmed so your best bet is underground. Now as I mentioned earlier there is one item that's locked behind the survival DSC. It seems that the urban MDR can only be found in survival caches. Well, so far at least this could change in the future as Massive have shifted their policy on locked content with the 1.4 patch so we could see this dropping somewhere else. Finally the golden rhino pistol can drop off of the final boss in the dragon's nest incursion. Doesn't have to be unheroic, challenging will do as well. That about covers it up for this video guys, if you have more details as to the drop locations of certain items, make sure to let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Agents, thanks again for watching my video. If you've made it this far then you must really want those gear pieces or you really like my sexy voice. Nevertheless, consider subscribing for more awesome videos or better yet, check one of those awesome videos over there. I'll see you around.